Hi everybody and welcome back hi, to DB Soap. Today I am going to be making a oatmeal milk and honey. I've got my um, oils already in here and I've also got my honey which is some of this good stuff here. It's a natural honey, a New Zealand honey. Do not ask me how to pronounce it. Um, what is it? Rewa Rewa? <laughs> not Rewa, not like the bread, but Rewa Rewa. I think that's how you pronounce it, honey. It's in Fakatani. That's where it comes from. So, shout out to them. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's do this. Here's my lye, I'll just put my lye in here. It's um just it's a lot um lye and water, which is a very I've got it's reduced lye, um water as I my milk over here there's also a tiny tiny bit of um, salt which I've added in there which I am I've actually got here My salt is in here, which has also got my oh god, it smells so yummy. My oatmeal milk and honey essence in there. So I was told put it in the salt to do it last. Okay. Okay, well we'll now get this going. give it a bit of a mix together before I add the um, milk. funky colour. <laughs> it's I've also added a little bit of um road oil mud to that. thing over. Okay, I just want to make sure this is well mixed. I don't want to overly mix it because I don't want it getting too thick. Okay, 
that will do otherwise the trace I mean the trace otherwise it's going to get too thick bubbly water over here. <laughs> okay, um, that goes in last. I've got a orange which I'm going to use as my base colour. I've also I've got in here a pink, yay, and a lovely blue. I so love this blue. I'll tell you what colours they are actually. Hang on. What have we got here? The blue is a uh, blue mica from Kiwi Soap Supplies. The orange is bright orange, which is a soap pigment from Kiwi Soap Supplies again. And uh, the br and the other is a bright pink red, which is a soap pigment from also Kiwi Soap Supplies. I'm actually um, going to be ordering some, hold on, <laughs> I'm actually going to be ordering some more colours soon, I'm going to be ordering a pack of, it's like a, it's a sample of all of the colours that this lady has, who sells them in, um, in New Zealand, I have not, I think they're called Mica Colors or something like that is her name on Facebook. I cannot recall it at the moment, but I will link her. Um, I will link her to the in the description. Sorry, I'm trying not to get too distracted here. Okay, I'll just add some of this. You can see it's actually picking me up a bit more than I would have liked. It really does smell nice, and I haven't even, you know, like I haven't even added any essence and I mean fragrances in there yet, but it does. It smells really nice. Let's give that a stir. said this is my base that I'm wanting to be using. Okay. Get our whisk. I only want it to be light obviously but it's going to pick it up a bit. So I'm not really Oh my golly gosh, it's thickened up a lot. <laughs> so it does not look like I'm going to be able to do what I was wanting to do. Um, no, I'm not. So, okay, because I still haven't even added the salt and that's going to thicken it even more. We'll trace it, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, so that's okay, I won't do that. I'm going to just plop it. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just put my salt mixture here a little bit. Where did it go? Where did I put the spatula? I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Where on earth did I put it? Sorry, 
grab there. Okay. Um. Let's see, I may still be able to do what I was going to do. No, definitely won't. Maybe it to be a very nice tray, a very light trace, but it's just looking up quite a lot, so I won't be at it. So what I will do, and, oh there's a spatula, <laughs> so what I will do instead, is, um, I will I think I'll just do a bit of a so you can see it's quite thick. Put a bit in here. Yep, <laughs> definitely thickened up too much. Um, why do I feel like I'm missing something? It's not, it's all there. <laughs> okay. Most of this out of here. So I'm going to leave a little bit. Yep, it's just going to be blobs. <laughs> the blobs are fine. I really like this blue colour here. So if you can hear a little bit of banging going on in the background there, that's, yeah, believe it or not, that's the cat and the dog playing. See? Oh, sorry. <laughs> a bit of a bang to get the bubbles out. I'm going to use that one. Mm -mm -mm. This one. I'm going to use good old spoon here and just do a bit of a swirl for it there. It's a bit thick, so I'm not thinking it's going to look very good, but we'll go back this way. Okay. 
putih mat yang ini. over here and I'm going to just do a bit of a just a little bit of a few circles on the top just to give it a I suppose just a bit of a colour swirly bit on the top all I'm doing is doing little circles Nothing fancy, just simple little circles. we have it. It's not too bad. Okay, and now I'll just, I won't, because it has the milk in it and the honey in it and everything, I won't be, um, I will clean up the sides a little bit, but I won't be putting it, I, mean, I won't be wrapping it up because otherwise it'll overheat, I think, with the amount of um, milk and honey that is in here because you would have seen by the colour of it I do have some yellow, quite yellow um, um, oils in there but also because the even though there's only a teaspoon in it because it is a natural honey you can see it's a very dark honey so it does definitely darken up the um, oils a lot okay so um Whoops, <laughs> that is my oatmeal milk and honey soap that I have made tonight. And I will be back tomorrow with the cutting. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, please like and um, subscribe. <laughs> and I will add links in the description. Thank you. Bye.